Hi guys, this is Han. Um, I'm back with another video uh, to follow up to my previous video on Robin Konkin Backpack. So this video um, is going to show you uh, four backpacks within the yellow shades um, sitting next to each other so that you can compare the, the colors yourself. The reason why this video came about was um, some of you guys had asked me during my first backpack video of uh, my Fial Robin uh, Konkin, the laptop number two. Um, I'll include that video in the link below if you have any further questions. But in that video, some of you guys asked me, you know, what is the difference between Ogre versus Acorn? And honestly, I didn't really know because um, I only have Acorn. However, after, you know, looking at some of my footage um, from that trip two and a half years ago in the store, I realized I recorded a few minutes of the backpacks sitting next to each other. Originally, I came into the store because I wanted a uh, bag with a color that reflected my love for fall because I also was purchasing the bag uh, during September, October of that year. And there was, you know, the weather was cold, there was a little bit of rain, and the leaves were starting to change color. And I was like, I want something for fall. Um, all right. Yeah, so that was the main reason why I purchased the backpack. Um, so in this video, you'll see that um, there are four bags, as I mentioned. The first one will um, be acorn, the second will be ogre, the third is seashell orange, and then the fourth is a lighter yellow color, which I did not get the name, unfortunately. So you guys will have to excuse me for that. If you know the name, please include it in the description to help others uh, make their decision a little bit easier. In my opinion, acorn, which is what I have, it's a darker mustard uh, yellow. And an ogre, it's a nice, pretty, uh, light uh, mustard yellow. And then seashell orange, it's very pretty um, now that I look back at the video. And it's more of an orange sorbet color. It's the shape. The color is actually very pretty now that I look back at the footage. And then the fourth color, as I mentioned, unfortunately, I did not rec uh, record the name, so I don't even know what that color was. However, if you're interested, you can um, do a little more research. Um, two things before I um, head out for this video. I just want to mention that um, in regards to how I take care of the backpack, I'm a little bit more intentional about where I place the bag after coming from work, work or if I'm driving somewhere, I try to always place my backpack um, on a seat, whether it's right next to me, in the back of me, but I never really kind of like just place it on the floor. It's a pricey bag, so I do try to put a little bit of effort to take care of it better. Um, my husband also has a backpack. He doesn't have a Konkin backpack, but he has it from the same brand. And he does not put food or anything else other than his laptop, badge for work, and a few pens um, in his backpack. So it's very clean. Maybe in my future video, I can do a quick um, review of that back versus my Konkin. Second thing is if I could go back, I probably would not have this purchased this backpack um, as a laptop version just because it makes it, the backpack look really bulky, especially the back when you put your laptop in it and you have a bunch of stuff in the front compartment just because it's a large backpack and it can take on a lot of weight and a lot of things. And I'm not very tall, I'm only 5'1 and 3 fourths, well, we'll say 5'2. And I, you know, I'm not the tallest person or the thinnest person, so I feel like it makes me bulky and big and it's just, and it's just kind of fluffy out in the front because of the weight of the backpack in the back. So if I could, you know, purchase another Konkin or if I could go back, I probably would not have purchased the laptop version um, after having it for two and a half years. However, the original um, reason why I purchased the backpack was for my laptop <laughs> to be protected. But then inside the backpack, it has a... Uh, a mat that you can place in the in the compartment to protect your backpack anyhow. Uh, so, you know, that would be my opinion on that. 
All right, thank you so much, you guys, for watching my videos regarding the Kanken backpack. I really appreciate it. If you have any other questions, feel free to add it in the comments below, and then I will address it. All right, see you in the next one. Thank <music> you.